Harry's New Year's resolution was to get up before 9am every single day of 2021. It's January the 3rd, it's 1pm. Do you see Harry? No, because he's still in bed. He's slowly making his way outside. I've told him that I'm waiting in the car now because I woke him up with an hour and a bit to spare and then I rework him up with about 45 minutes and then I rework him up with half an hour and then 10 minutes and he's still not here. <laughs> Finally got up. I've been up hours. Really? Have you? There's no proof. Really? How I is haven't. how's your New Year's resolution going? You know what? You make fun of me, but I've actually got up earlier every single day progressively. So Harry, it's five plus one in the afternoon. Yeah, and it was five plus two in the afternoon yesterday. So yeah, but you said nine a.m. I have it on camera in the vlog last week. People seen well, it. A lot of people. Everyone seen it. knew that that was a lie, didn't they? I don't know. I thought you might be turning over a new leaf, a fresh start for 2021, but apparently not. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined once again with my brother in my car because we are heading to McDonald's to try the new 2021 McDonald's menu. Classic. Do you know what's on it? No. I no. actually got the app because I was like, oh, I really want to try it. The main one I've seen and I've been tagged in it loads is the katsu curry bites. So many people tagged me in it on Twitter. I was like, right, okay, I have to try these. And then realised you can't try these. No, I am. I'm being vegetarian from tomorrow. Oh, right, okay. Because, right, so I'll speak about this now. I was going to do vegetarian through January. Apart from, I already couldn't do that because my mum did like a massive Sunday lunch. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm just going to start it from today. So today is January the 4th and I'm going to do it for a month. To me, that's kind of exactly the same. Like, it doesn't really matter when you start as long as you start. But I know that a lot of people do start on January the 1st. On the new up menu, we've got the Big Tasty. We've got 20 Katsu Curry Chicken McNugget share box. The Spicy Veggie one, which I'm quite excited about. And then various different McFlurries. So we're just going to get basically one of most of this. Sounds like a good breakfast. Yeah, it does. It's having a great breakfast. Um, and also, Tom is also going around the drive through for his lunch, so he might make an appearance in the video in his car. I think he might be already there, though, so I'm not too sure if we'll see Tom, but yeah, let's get going. Happy New Year. Have you brushed your teeth this morning? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. We are arriving at McDonald's, and the queue is very long. I told Tom that I was doing this, and he was like, oh, I want to try the katsu curry bites, because I feel like that's all I've seen on Twitter recently. I hate queuing on here, though, because I can't. I can't drive, really, can I, to be honest? Are we gonna roll backwards? Let's see. That's Tom. And Tom. Oh, yeah, that is. <laughs> next in the queue to go across. So how do you know where you are in this queue? You go round. You have to, like, go all the way around the back of Morrison's. This is ridiculous. Has he seen us? He's seen us. Did those people think I was waving at them? It's where you don't come to Mackey's at rush hour, Mackey's. Well, there's limited hours of daylight right now, so we either come for lunch or breakfast. And that's it. Well, this is my breakfast. The drive through is so busy that it's we're just sitting in the car park. But oh, now yes. I'm blocking this exit. Oh, this is stressful as heck, man, because I'm blocking... This is why you just go to the whole one. The whole one, there's no one ever there. I don't want to drive to Hull to get some katsu curry well, bites. Well, quicker than this. Like, what is happening here? That car should not have done that. He's seen us. It's fine. Oh, get a bit stressed, get a bit flustered. It doesn't help that I haven't really driven anywhere for, like, weeks, so now I feel flustered because I can't... I can't do these situations. No, no, no. Right, mate, come on. Yeah, you need to stop it, Joe, because you're going to get your front end bashed in. I'd hate his job. I would hate his job too. Everybody hates him. Well, I hate in. him. We're in. No, I don't hate him, but all the traffic hates him. We're in, and that is the most important thing. We've survived. I don't even know. I think there's probably about three minutes worth of footage out this whole section, and we were waiting there for ages. I mean, it's funny when you were stressing. Yeah, because I just don't like that situation because I don't want to be that car that everybody hates on the road. Do you want your own katsu bites or should we share? Mm, we can share 20. Just Shall get we get 20 a 20? Okay. Christ on a bicycle. Tom's only there. What? Really? There he is. There he is. That's my favourite white no, boy. <laughs> that was quite off the cuff for me. I never I knew think, you were going to do I that. Never I knew you were going to do that. I never think of memes. Lizzie has a meme for absolutely everything. You could say something and Lizzie will just quote the meme that goes with it. I'm proud of myself. Oh, Hi, could we get a 20 box of the katsu curry McNuggets? Yeah. And then could we get a big tasty as well, please? Um, could I get the spicy veggie one as well, please? She sounded nice. That was the curb. What? That was the curb. That wasn't. I didn't hear the curb. It was on your back wheel. No, it isn't. It was. Oh, it's, it's genuinely not a miles away from the curb. This stresses me out because you have to have really good clutch control in a in a 
McDonald's drive through In a drive through that's the word I was looking for. And uh, I just don't have that. They're saving in you. It's so cheap, it makes me wonder how they make any profit and also what is in them. You wanna know how they make profit? The bread's 4p, the chicken's 8p, and the lettuce is 2p. But where are they getting the That's chicken from? That they're, where is that coming from? Also, somebody in the comments of my last video said they work at the McDonald's drive through and it is done on registration plates. Is it? Take, well, there's a camera there. They take photos of your plate. Why is this Why is this car edging forward as if I'm gonna let them out first? I think this might be the most I've ever spent at McDonald's. 16 pounds. 16 pounds. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Wow, that's a lot of food. We can park next to Dom in the space. Yeah. I'll move it. That Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll move it. I'm gonna film Tom for you guys now because I'm, I'm getting very stressed and very flustered, but. Here he is, say hello. Have you tried the bites yet? I haven't. Do you want to do a first react on camera? All right, that's a bit better. You can kind of see Tom now. It looks good. Is that a katsu, katsu curry dip? Yeah. First impressions. What if it's just the sauce and it's not actually the chicken? Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Is it just chicken Good. with a, a katsu sauce or is it actually different chicken nuggets? The actual nugget is the same and it's got a different battery on it. Uh, fair enough. It's, bit, it's almost like a select in a nugget. Ooh. Taste right, I want to try mine now. Okay. Yeah, we've just got four sweet curries. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's right. So if you don't say the sauce, they give you four sweet curries. Fair. Well, she didn't ask us. Please, may I try the nugget first? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. The bird just on the pooed on the window. Harry can't swear. So we have the first impressions on camera of the katsu bites with the, what is this, sweet curry. What are you taking out of it? Tomato. That looks good actually. Mmm. Oh. First impressions, big tasty. I'm not sure. To be honest, it's quite average. They are very, very, very similar. I get what you mean about them tasting like a chicken select in a chicken nugget. How is your, how is your big tasty? Bang average. Really? It tastes like a burger. Really? Loads of people rave about that. Well, I just think the McDonald's. What's different about it than a Big Mac? I just think the McDonald's bacon. Because it's got the Big Mac sauce. Rank. In it. <laughs> oh, Tom's. We've closed our window so we can finish filming this drive with me, but Tom looks dead upset. But it's just not going to work because the traffic noise is really loud. And also, you can't hear Tom. This is why virtual and distance collabs don't work. Time for my full comprehensive review on the katsu chicken curry nuggets. Do you know what I honestly think ruins it? This sauce is too spicy. It's just a normal sauce. It's just normal sweet curry I know, sauce. I just don't really like it. I'm gonna try my veggie thing. Is that a yes? Is that a yes to the nugs? Yeah. Right, I also got the spicy veggie one, which is the vegetarian wrap. I'm not sure if this is new, but it's on their new in menu, so I don't know if they've previously had it, they got rid of it and they've brought it back again. No, you 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 just pull the top bit off, you donut. Yeah, but can you pull it off? Yeah. Here is my veggie wrap, you know. I didn't get to say my full comprehensive review on the nuggets. Oh, sorry, go on. I think I think it's much better quality than uh, a normal chicken nugget. It's genuine chicken on the middle. Yeah, it as does well taste as different. To it me. being genuinely breaded on the outside rather than just like Fair having credit. that plasticky feel. It does, does have a bit of a kick to it on the aftertaste, but I like that. I like a bit of spice. It's Wait, nice. I've thought of a meme. Let's add a little bit of spice. Let me add a little bit of spice. Who says that? I don't know. Chris Eubank. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Go on. What are we going to give it out of ten? Sorry. Nine. Nine out of ten. Nine out Eight. of ten. Eight. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's high. I'm gonna be honest, this spicy veggie wrap. It's barely really, yeah. Come on, get into it. It's because it's got their veggie dippers inside it, and I don't think they're that nice. I feel like whenever we do a McDonald's video, I'm just really critical, and I'm like, I don't like it, I don't like it. There are some things that I do like, but more of it, more of it that I don't. So let's have a little chat whilst we eat. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10, but I'm gonna probably carry on eating it. It's getting better. Oh, my car's just timed itself out. I can't believe a bird just pooed on my window whilst we were filming this. Class. You'll be able to hear that as well. You'll hear it if you put the 10 minute clip in of us getting a thumbnail, yeah. How is your application to university going? I've actually had a lot of DMs this week asking about it. Really? Why? Mm -hmm. Well, I have applied to university, guys. I, I've sent it off, I've paid, I've paid to send. That was the hurdle that I fell at. I got all the way through the UCAS application to the point where you pay and I thought, I'm not paying. No. <laughs> no, jokes. That's a joke. I just decided I didn't want to do it. A bit cheeky how you have to pay. You're already giving them like 40 grand across like three years and they want another 26 quid. Like, <laughs> unbelievable. For what? Literally for what? Like what are you paying for? Mm, probably the maintenance of their website. 26 pounds from each person? Well. How good's uh, their website? Because it's shocking. Yeah, it's not very good. Yes, yeah, so I've applied to do a sports and exercise science course at Loughborough, Leeds, Manchester, Northumbria and... Brunel in London. That's um, a rogue one. It is a rogue one, but I thought, you know what, I'll put it down. 
you know, don't have to go if I don't want, but mm -hmm. there's an option. Mm -hmm. So I back it. Because they're good for sport. Yeah. So it's Leeds, Beckett and Manchester Met. It's not Uni of Manchester or Uni of no. Leeds. Fair dues, fair dues. Are you nervous? Does it feel a bit more real now? No. Okay, good. But the course is slightly different in each place. At three of them, it's like sports and exercise science. And then at ah. War Classic, Molly dropping her food down the side of her car. Just drop the bloody pepper down the edge of the chair. God, you wouldn't be able to tell where we are, even if someone wanted to. I know. Steamed the car right up. So then at one of them, I think it's Northumbria, it's applied sport and exercise science. I don't know what the difference is Have you looked into what the differences are? Because what if you don't like it? Eh, nah, it'll be the same. Oh, yeah, so good. where's your top choice? Is it Loughborough? Probably Loughborough. Yeah, and what are your grade requirements to get into Loughborough? Three A's. That's high. That's really high. Or three, two A's and a B. Well, yeah. which is it? Well, either. They didn't specify. Oh. That's weird. Yeah, I mean, I think this year it would be a weird one as well. I'm going back for another Katsu chicken bite. Why has Tom left his engine running? I don't know, but he's not helping the environment. No, he's not. Bad pollution. Turn your engine off. You're damaging the environment. No? Do you know how much steam yours makes at the back? <laughs> do that. Tom's verdict was he's not eating all of his because he's not impressed. Ah, we have a laugh. Do you like Tom? Hmm. More than you. Wait, you like Tom more than I like Tom or you like Tom more than you like me? The second one. You like Tom more than you like me? Your own sister? Mm, sometimes. You know, we have a lot in common. I do feel as though you may have benefited more from a brother. I feel that too. That Except, was the wrong answer. I mean, but you, you know, you never like played sport with me like on holiday and stuff. Where all your, would have done that? Right, all your life, all you've ever moaned about is how when we go on holiday, nobody will go bloody swimming with you. I just want someone to go swimming with. Well, you've got a girlfriend now. Well, I can't go on holiday with her. Well, one day you will be able to. I just want to go swimming. Nino, Nino, Nino. I'm sure all your, all your viewers would go swimming. Comment down below, would you go swimming with my brother if you were on holiday with him? Would you play water sports in the pool with him? Would you play volleyball on the beach with him? Because my answer is always a no, because I'm a Scrooge. And I've gone on holiday to do the opposite of sport. Oh, stop milking it. <laughs> Thank you. Just stop it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that's happened this week that I feel like is noteworthy, but honestly, nothing in our life is happening. Other than Harry being a week late going back to school. Harry applying to university. Basically, nothing's happened to me. All me. Oh, all Harry, all the time. El Darby's having a baby. That was big news in my week. Don't know who that is. Why is that every male ever? Well, you should know who she is. Could I have my chips, please? Okay, now I've got one last question and then we'll round it up. Who are your favourite people to watch on YouTube right now? Ooh. Bit of a rogue one. Uh, <laughs> How is that funny? What is what? Because, <laughs> right, so I got a new game for Christmas. Uh, it's the Formula One game. Uh -huh. It's actually made me want to become a Formula One um, physio first team physio for like the drivers um so you'd literally travel around the world with them go to all the races that is a dream job to be fair so i, I really want to do that now uh, i got the game and then i started watching youtube videos on the game and there's this one guy uh called like the f1 something or whatever so i've just been watching him loads uh -huh. but that's not like an exciting youtuber that no one knows but in terms of that probably just you know the sidemen classic i feel like everybody's answer is always the sidemen no matter who you ask even all my friends yeah, ask them, it's like, who's your favourite YouTuber? It's the Sidemen. And I feel like I have kind of miss, missed that because oh, I've never really watched have. the Sidemen. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Is about to hit 50 million. Mr. Beast. I do I do watch him when he pops up. He on, has on some crazy challenges. Page. My favourites right now probably are. I really love Molly May's vlogs. You know who Molly May is? Yes, I know who Molly May is. Okay, well, you might not. She vlogs. She's all anyone posts on Instagram. Because she's stunning. I really, yeah, really do like her. Everyone who entered the giveaway. You know you're not gonna win. Somebody had to win, and the person that did win, she went to surprise them at their house. So imagine if she just rocked up at you our house. You can't do that. That's not allowed. No, yeah, this was like in the summer. <gasps> it's raining, guys. That might be our cue to wrap this random ass chat up. You know, I think there was some highlights in that video. You know, mm -hmm. you getting stressed. I'm sure that'll make some for some quality content. I always love to see that. Um, you just like to see me wound up. It is quite funny. Mm. Um, I didn't finish my list. I'm also loving El Darby, Ellen and Neil. That's probably it. In other news. I watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Great film. Top five. Top five. Obviously, it's Back to the Future 1, 2, 3. And then it's probably Ferris Bueller's Day Off, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Do you know what I watched yesterday? What do you watch yesterday? Castaway. It was on the telly. That's a good film. Ooh. Have you seen that? Uh, no. You've not seen Castaway? No. With Tom Hanks and Wilson? No. But they have added Wolf of Wall Street back to Netflix. And they've taken Gossip Girl off Netflix. Got a bone to pick with you, Netflix. UK and Ireland. I know you follow me on Twitter. If you happen to be watching, I'm Flex. not happy. Just subtly add that in there. Got to pull some strings sometimes, and I want to pull this string. I want to pull this string and say, if you're listening, if you're watching, I'm not happy. I want Gossip Girl back. That's the only thing that keeps me going. <laughs>
When did you last watch Gossip Girl? I have Gossip Girl on in the background constantly. Like, I'm never watching it, but it's just on. And it's okay, become well a comfort. Okay, well then put the YouTube highlights on then. No. We are going to end this video here because all we're doing is chatting absolute rubbish, but it's yeah. That's all we ever do. That is all we ever do. I do want to film some slightly different content. I've said this in the last couple of videos, so if you've got any ideas, do let me know in the comments. No Other than watching. that... No one's watching anymore. If you are watching... People are watching. 15% off on Peach Street using the code... No. No, no. But it is 10% off in the coming up weekends, so... Yeah. Well, then there you go. Yeah, yeah. keep an eye out on the Peach Street website because uh, we keep doing random discounts for like 24 hours, so you want to be checking up on the Instagram. And we should be back with another video very soon. I'll be back on my channel on Thursday. Harry's finger is still bendy from the time that he broke it in the summer. All right, just look kid. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below. Oh, and I'm still running my own giveaway on my Instagram to win a pair of AirPods, so make sure that you enter that if you haven't already. And I shall see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye.